Happening today, Connecticut Department of Public Health Commissioner Renee Coleman Mitchell is headed to Capitol Hill where she'll be testifying at a hearing about the vaping epidemic. She wants Congress to further regulate the product and fund more research to figure out just how bad the long-term effect is. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz is live from the Department of Public Health in Hartford now. What can we expect from today's testimony, Carolina? Well, she's the only state level public health official, so she'll be giving our state's perspective on this vaping epidemic, and it's one of great concern. The products intended to reduce cigarette smoking in America are under attack. Last December, the U.S. Surgeon General declared e-cigarette use among youth an epidemic. This past summer, vaping related lung diseases and deaths spiked. In Connecticut, within the last two months, there have been at least 31 reported cases, including one death. I think that these products should be banned. I think that they are toxic and they are unsafe and that they should continue to be banned until we have credible long-term safety data available. In Connecticut, personnel from the infectious disease, tobacco prevention, toxicology and state lab sections are researching the long-term impact the vaping epidemic is having. Connecticut's Department of Public Health Commissioner Renee Coleman Mitchell says we're taking away these critical resources from focusing on other crucial areas to deal with this ongoing outbreak of illnesses and deaths. Coleman Mitchell says that there is also concern about the chemical exposure to these vaping products. She says that a lot of patients reported just buying cartridges off the streets or from friends. So she's going to expand on how the black market is playing a factor in all of this epidemic. Reporting in Hartford, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.